Hey everybody, so we have another boot review. This time it's on the High Test brand boots. Essentially, the uh, boot truck from work came by. I had asked him about these shoes, and he said, Oh, those are the number one selling metatarsal boots. And this is the result. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, believed that guy so much. Anyways, so I've been wearing these about six months now, and like I said, they're metatarsal guard. I'm a welder, so we'll kind of go over how that affected them, but yeah. So these high-test boots, they're actually pretty comfortable. I'd say uh, what makes them comfortable is how light they are. So you can tell they got a plastic toe cap. And uh, they're, they're pretty comfortable. Um, we have to have the metatarsal guard uh, at work. So there is that. But what I really think... Um, what I really think these boots would be good for is not welding. <laughs> they, uh... They're not good for it because they make the internals and external metatarsal guards and... The internal ones, the, your problem is you burn up everything on top. And uh, and you can see how this has affected these, and we'll really get into it on that one. But, um, like, to prove to you they don't have much wear, I mean, you can still see the pattern in the very bottoms of these shoes. <laughs> so, um, I think they would work really well for somebody that needs it maybe in like a diesel mechanic or you know some sort of heavy equipment where they're not welding all the time but uh, I think the price point of like 125 bucks or whatever these are um, is, is pretty good for for what you get um, I did upgrade the foot beds to just some Walmart ones and that made a big difference for me because uh, the original ones are really thin but uh, yeah, so we kind of wore through the cap on this one and a little bit of the stitching, and that's another thing too, especially with this particular one, is I'm right-handed, and so when I weld, I typically weld from right to left, and because of that, the left boot always takes the brunt of the slag or the hot chunks of steel that fall off. And that's why this boot looks so terrible, is because all that slag hitting these lace, or the uh, stitching, just destroyed them. And it started with, when I laced it up, you know, this popped off, and this all happened literally within like two or three weeks, where it just like exploded into absolute garbage. So I, I retired them, because it's only going to be a matter of time before I get a hot BB that falls in here right in here more so and I gets my foot but we'll let's dissect this thing um, so yeah this is what happens when all those sparks get in there it just destroys everything but look at that yeah you could you could see my sock in there if I was wearing it so yeah, it was only a matter of time before a BB came through. And actually, you know, this toe cap, you can actually get an idea of the thickness, though. Um, but that could pop out, and that's kind of an issue, too. But they're very comfortable. You know, these soles are pretty good. Like I said, I, I got two pairs of these because they were so cheap, and they have a deal, you know, buy one, get one, like, half off or something like that. So I... Um, I got two of them for a good deal. And I think another thing that would really save these is some tough toe. So I got some other boots I'm going to wear until I get some tough toe. And I'm going to put them on my new pair to try to salvage them. Because like I said, these only last me like six months. And I want to get like a year and a half out of my other ones. <laughs> until the boot truck guy comes back. Uh, my work gives us... Five hundred and twenty dollars or something like that for boots every two years. So I mean, this is a common thing for most guys. 
but they held up. They're real light, comfortable, you know. Um, the tab on the back broke off of this boot, which to me that's just like signs of kind of some subpar leather. Um, and then the side kind of blew out because you, if you crawl around a lot, you kind of rub on that stitching. And then um, you can just see how the hot BBs just kind of burn through. So it was only a matter of time before like this spot here would start ripping up. It's pretty close already. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of people do these boot reviews and, I don't know, their boots look brand new to me. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, and here's that Met Guard. It's almost like a fiberglass. This is just completely garbage. Look at that. So, and I can actually... Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> My finger goes all the way through. There's a bunch of slag in here. Just hanging out. Collecting. But, yeah, it just came to the point where it's like... I'm wearing these boots and I'm like, you know... I'm either going to get yelled at by the safety guy or... I'm going to get a huge BB to fall in there and burn the side of my foot or fall in here and burn my foot. So it's like, yeah, probably time to retire them. My other boots I got here, I'll show you. So these other ones, which I actually got after these, um, they've been kind of a pain to break in. But these here are called... Twisted X, and I think they look much nicer than an Ariat boot. But these have been the biggest pain for me to try to break in. They're muddy, but like they're I don't know. I you know I've had really hard boots to break in before, and once they broke in, they were really nice. So I'm hoping that's what these ones are like. But I wanted to try a pair of slip-ons because no laces and it uh I think it would just be kind of a nice change of pace if these are any good if they're not good next time the boot truck comes I'm going to get some Ariats because uh why not but that's the ones that I've I wore them for a few weeks but the problem I was having was the um they're tight like they should be and they're just you can tell they're they're almost broken but they're not quite there and uh and the Met Guard underneath here, there's a there's a little bit of a lip right here on the inside, and the pressure pushing down on my foot made my my toes kind of go numb, and it's gotten better with time. I just need to keep wearing them. But these are nice too. I like these. Um, I like how they look, and I like how they they feel real nice. Just a pain to break them in, so. Yeah, there's those ones, but uh, yeah, that's my uh, that's my my boots. So I always try to bring them home and do a review for you guys, and then maybe somebody out there will buy them up because they think they're awesome, or think twice about what they're gonna do. So thanks for watching, guys.